I'm not. Uh, that's cool. Um, uh, as always, if you're kicking off this video, I'm pretty lazy and I don't edit out the beginning while I'm waiting for a few people to jump in um, and get my content together and things like that. Uh, so skip ahead a little bit. I'm not going to wait as long. Sometimes I wait five minutes or so. Uh, this time I'm probably going to jump right into it. Uh, I want to make some dinner. I got um, a break tonight. Uh, Statman661 is running a nice break. Uh, he's got a few breaks open, which I would strongly suggest you uh, check out um, and get some there. Um, for those of you who are confused on what I've got going on right now is uh, two ball metals are tracking. Uh, one is an impromptu break uh, at baseball cards I did, uh, cards with a K. The other is a surprise thing, and it came the same day, I think, mailed uh, one day after the other. So maybe shit timing um, for baseball cards that he had to ship those out. But I'm quite quite nervous about the the one that um, that I don't know what it is. Um, I'm talking like British men. Um, I'm watching a lot of soccer lately. I record it during the day. Sometimes I can put it on during my lunch break, and they're all like. Um, English, English, I, hey, yo. I don't have a good accent. Um, but anyway, I think I adapt the style of talking from things I watch a, a large quantity of. Like if I'll listen to a lot of country music and or watch Justified, I'll start talking. I'll start talking like I'm Raylan Givens, I think. I'll start like, and it's really weird because I'm just an idiot from Maryland. Um, God only knows, really. Ah. Uh, I'm answering a text message um, right now, sorry. Um, someone interrupted me on a live stream. Get live up in here. I wish you could tell like who was watching, if anyone was watching, how do you know, you know? Like, do I do this for myself? No, I do it for the fans. It's all about the fans. No, I, I'm just here so I don't get fine. Got a little thirsty. Ooh, why is Megan Rapino trending? Is that good or bad? Oh, Victoria's Secret is hiring Rapino. That's interesting. I don't quite get. I mean, I don't not get it, but I also don't get it, you know? Anyway, um, it's been two minutes and 47 seconds of me mostly spewing garbage uh, at the moment. Um, but yeah, let's get to the break first because I think the – yo, Bilski. Oh, Brian, Jungle Rules. What up, bud? Um, oh, there's something fancy in here from Zach. Uh, Zach Attack, Ladner dude on the Twitterverse if you know him. Bilski, I'm about to print a label for you. I got some, some fun Rangers cards um, that I need to send you. Yep, New York Rangers, Mark Gardner. Mike Gardner? I don't know. Just just Mike Gardner, Mark Gardner cards. Oh, right. Uh, we did the finest. I had the Rays and the Baltimore Orioles. Um, uh, finest and I believe, uh, what's it called? Uh, Lil Bowman. We got a Luis Patino rookie guard. I'm really excited for him to come back up because I think once he comes back up, he might be to stay. Um, and I think he's going to be really good. And to be honest, if the Rays weren't destroying everyone right now, um, he'd probably be pitching. I don't really know what he's doing in the minors. I like him. I think he's fantastic. Uh, I think he's cool, calm, collected, fresh, clean, all of the above. Wander Franco. Speaking of, I mean, legit question. Is the Rays' entire minor league system better than the Baltimore Orioles' major league team? I didn't see any particular roster move that the Rays made. Um, uh, so I forget. I thought I, I don't remember who they did. Um, but honestly, is the Rays minor league? Could you, if you assembled one major league roster from all of the players in the Rays minor league system, would it be better than the Baltimore Orioles? I think not, but I'm not super confident uh, in that assessment. Um, let's see if the Rays made a move recently. June 14th. Oh, they just, what did they do? What did they do? Did they bring Brasso back? No, they brought, oh. Um, they got, yeah, Brasso came back from the minors a couple of days ago because um, he was just sent a couple of days ago. And then they also called up Chris Mazza, which I think is the relief pitcher. So nothing funny um, or nothing fun. 
maybe something funny. Um, but yeah, Shane Baz, another player that's not bad. Oh, that's cool. I didn't have this. That's a mojo, baby. I wonder if I turn the light on, it'll look mojo y. Please do not judge my clothing. Tat took the dog on a walk and she decided to run like 200 yards. Run is an overstatement. Lightly jog, but enough that I had to jog and I ran yesterday and it's 80 degrees out and it's direct sunlight and I was not hydrated and I had not eaten a lot of protein and I got tired. So I decided not to lift weights today. Um, and now my back hurts. So this is all good. Jordan Westberg, uh, we got a Gunnar with an A. Pro tip, look for Gunnar Henderson cards spelled with an E on eBay. Um, most people do that, so they don't. you don't get them for much cheaper. But occasionally you might uh, at a low buy it now or something. Grayson Rodriguez, fantastic. Oh, Ryan Mountcastle, rookie card. That's pretty cool. I got like 80 of those. I also got another fine S Ryan Mountcastle rookie card. If you might have noticed that I had another one of these from other live streams, such as yesterday, um, that uh, came from Statman661. Uh, he's got some breaks to fill. He's got a break tonight at 8, I believe. I'm excited for that. I think it's shit, Series 2, I believe. This will be my first crack at Series 2. I haven't bought any Series 2, looked at Series 2. Um, now, this is a dope card. People don't like, Finest like runs hot and cold for people, but I, I like Finest, and that is one of the reasons. Speckle, Deckle, Edge, you know what I'm saying? You got the triangles over here. It's numbered. You're all numbered in my heart. That's out of 125, but you're all number ones to me. Um, I wish the Orioles had Luis Patino. I would trade the entire Orioles team for the Rays, Rays minor league roster, I think. Right? Like, who? Like, definitely would, I think. Yeah, the color parallel. Very nice. This is from Zach. Ooh, that is a cool card. Rui Hachimura. PSA. I, I have very few graded cards. Boom. PSA 9 rookie card. Rui Hachimura, who went to Gonzaga. Not college high school, but Gonzaga College. Um, I think legit two or th I probably have maybe, if you don't count uh, – authenticated autos, I probably have 10 or 11 graded cards. And Zach's racked me at least three or four of them. I got an Eloy uh, rookie card, PSA 8, I believe. A pretty dope, like, old school Frank Robinson PSA, or maybe BGS or something. Um, and then one other, I, got, I can't remember what it is, but this is a cool card. Love Rui. I hope he, uh, I hope he plays better next year. I don't really get why the Wizards suck. I mean, I I haven't watched a Wizards game in a long time. I have started watching basketball, though. Um, I found the playoffs to be very engaging, although everyone's getting injured, which is not good. Um, but what series is it that the Philly one? They're playing um, Philadelphia. They're playing Atlanta. That one was a lot of fun. The game last night between the, I believe, Bucks and Nets. KD, man, Kevin Durant from Maryland. Um, fantastic. Love Kevin Durant. I believe he was the one who saved the Seattle Supersonics from not being contracted. Um, but then he was too good and they had to contract them or something. I don't know, a squid or a kraken was involved. Very confusing. Um, either way, so far, this delivery was on fire. Utah, yeah, but the Utah game's kind of lame, right? Because Kawhi's like out for the season. Kawhi, who played for the San Antonio Spurs. That's a cool card. Showed these. All right, what am I doing? All right, this big guy. This is the thing I'm a little nervous about. A little nervous. Oh! Oh, man, that is dope. Oh, God. This is a hanger. We caught a hanger, Sarge. Marty, baseball cards with the rack attack. Oh, my God, where are my scissors? I need my scissors. God, I'm so I, I, You might have noticed that I... Katie Tilt, the excerpt by Leon Maryland for Texas. I mean, that was all Roy, I mean, Gary Williams' fault. And that's one of the reasons Gary Williams ended coaching in Maryland is he stopped, he wouldn't recruit AAU players. So many, ta so much talent left Maryland at the tail end of the Gary Williams era that it was just, just ridiculous. Um, I mean, I, I kind of understand it. Like basketball, clearly college basketball, amateur basketball, whatever you want to call it, clearly changed. Um, when the AAU system started getting, you know, as widespread as it was. And it wasn't college basketball really anymore, but that's the way college basketball was going, you know. Evolve or die, bitch. 
uh, is what I would have told Gary Williams. Yo, Adam, we got some NWSL cards. I opened three hangers yesterday. Got some cool and fun cards that I meant to. I put them somewhere. Oh, where did I put them? I put them in a place where I would remember that I wanted to look up some of the prices on them. And now I don't remember where I put them. Ah, <sighs> Chris Wilcox. Yeah, Juan Dixon, Lonnie Baxter. Funny story about Lonnie Baxter. Um, well, not the one where he shot a gun near the Capitol building and ended up in jail. Um, yeah, you got Byron Mouton, who transferred from Texas, right? Byron Mouton, I believe. Um, and I don't think they win that title without him. Uh, he played uh, semi-pro ball a lot in uh, late 2000s. My wife was a cheerleader um, in her spare time, not as her job, uh, and cheered for that team. But Lonnie Baxter went to get a card, Random Ripken, in the mail. I don't think so. I got one from Pat yesterday that was random. Um what was it, Adam? Like this vaguely jogs a memory. I would have opened it on camera though, so I can go back. I think there was one. I'll have to have to double check. Um, I do remember this vaguely. Um, but Lonnie Baxter went to Anacostia High School. Um, Byron Mouton. Um, Lonnie Baxter went to Anacostia High School, and um, we played Gonzaga. Played them a card that looked like. Oh, shit. I did not get that. I remember you tagging me and buying that for me, but no, I did not get that. Oddly enough, uh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I saw it on Twitter. I have not gotten it in the mail. Did that go to D.C. or did it go to Maryland? Because um, I could have the wife check the mail in D.C. Um, we're just all over the place dealing with, like, the reopening of homes and helping uh, old pa parents with stuff. My brother's kid had his first birthday. Yeah, I'll have my wife check on that, um, and then I'll, she'll be back uh, tomorrow or the next day, and I should know. Um, but, yeah, thanks for doing that, by the way. Funny story. I'm, I'll get back to Lonnie Baxter, Ryan. Um, at the car, Chris and I did a card show in February of 2020. Uh, Might have been March even, to be honest. Um, yeah, either place, like, I never know where I'm going to be. It's all, like, a matter of the weather, what my parents have, might need help with, uh, or my brother – when her parents might come down because her parent, my wife's parents live closer to the Maryland house. So if we want to see them, we go to Maryland. Weather looks good in Maryland. Um, sometimes I have to go into work. So I go to DC. It's a all mess. So don't rob me, people. Um, so the last card show or the only card show Chris and I did, it was at Blowout Cards Brick and Mortar Shop, which is in Chantilly, Virginia, um, called the Fantastic Store. Great place. Pretty good prices. Um, it was a good show. They probably had 20, 20, 25 tables. Chris and I each had a table. Um, we both sold pretty well. I sold, I unloaded like 300 like comments, which was great. But there was a guy next to us and Chris is a good schmoozer. I am terrible. But Chris, I was mostly manning Chris's table while Chris worked the room, which didn't actually help sales at all. Um, uh, but Chris found the guy next to us was talking to him a lot. He had like cheap autos, like dollar auto. We got a cheap shock Linwood, but he also had some of those CD cards and I have one at home of Cal Ripken, but this one I'm very excited for because I think it's different because I looked at the photo and what you tagged me in and bought for me and looked at the one I had and it was different. So I'm super excited about that um, and glad to remember it. Um, getting back to Lonnie Baxter, um, in, in high school, we had a pretty decent basketball team, although we were in the same conference as DeMatha. At the time, DeMatha had a team that had Joe Forte, um, Keith Bogans, and I believe two other players that went to D1 schools. We beat them twice, which was great. I mean, it was a little, we got a little lucky, half court shots, yada, yada, yada. One of the games, I believe Joe Forte like beat up Keith Bogans in the locker room the day before, and they both got suspended. So it was a little bit easier to play them. Um, either way, we get to the city championship game and we'll play Anacostia. And Lon Lonnie Baxter is on that team. And Lonnie Baxter basically shot probably 20 for 21 from the field, scored a bajillion points and just decimated us. He got the ball down low, backed his ass up, just laid it in all day, all night. It was a very deflating game because it was just one of those where you knew you just couldn't do anything. It wasn't a single thing you could do to stop this from happening to you. Um, but that was a fun era um, for Maryland basketball. I think we're getting back there. There's some really interesting players on the team. We got Wiggins, although Wiggins might go pro, which is scary. Hey, we got a Christine St. Clair. She went to the University of Portland. Is that really a school? Is Portland a city or a state? Or is it a state of mind? 
Um, yeah, Joe Forte. I never really thought Joe Forte was going to be good. He had like what? He just had the good tourney run at North Carolina and parlayed that into like the 22nd overall pick the year the Celtics had those three picks, right? They picked, I think they picked Joe Johnson that year too. I might not be right. Listen there, big fan, big fan of a listen there. I like the Chicago Red Stars a good bit. La Bonta, very good player. Jordan Listro. Oh, she's a really fun player. She's on KC. Um, she's Canadian. She's on, gets a lot of run on the Canadian national team, I believe. She's tone. Look at that arm. That is an arm. Look how ripped that is. That's crazy. Dorian Bailey for the hometown team from Mission, Kansas, and the University of North Carolina. Oh, I just make fun of Portland because Raju loves Portland, and I like to make fun of Raju. It's just low-hanging fruit, really. Yes, 9 p.m. against uh, Nigeria, I think. Um, I believe it's you have a new stadium in Austin that's opening up, U.S. Women's National Team against Nigeria, 9 p.m. Um, I've been staying up super late lately, so I don't know if I'm going to watch that game, especially because I don't think it's going to be super competitive. Uh, but it would be good to watch. Gabby Saylor, not, not knowledgeable of who this is. Where's Peachtree, Texas? She's from Peachtree, Texas. How come Texas doesn't have good women's soccer teams? Like you'd think with how big the state is, by good I mean like like why isn't UT good at women's soccer or Texas Tech or Baylor? Um, yeah, I heard that. They're, where, oh, that's a Segura field. Rachel Hill, nice player. Again, another Red Star. I'm a big Red Star fan. Second favorite team at time. Yeah, but like, I feel like there should be enough athletic women in Texas that would, that if you could keep them, you would play, you would have a very good team. It's weird that they go to like North Carolina and Florida and USC and UCLA, like climates aren't that different. Maybe it's a little bit cooler there. No, I don't know. I don't know who this is. Can you write from Mount Laurel, New Jersey, went to Rutgers. Ah, yeah. I don't, I, I had one year where I watched a lot of D1 men's soccer. It was year Colgate actually went on a run and got to like the semifinals. It was really cool, but I couldn't keep up with it. There's just so many, so many hours in the day. Um, I got to remember the Adam thing. Chelsea, Washington, very good player for a good amount of time from Dallas, Texas. Aham went all the way to Bowling Green instead of playing in state. Dabinya, solid, solid player. What a great player. Um, what an exciting, interesting player. Allie Watt. So Allie Watts from Colorado went to Texas A&M. Who know? Who knew? But Texas A&M isn't really in Texas, right? It's mostly in like Florida, Alabama or whatever. Yeah, sounds right. I will never, ever remember that Texas A&M is in the Southeastern Conference. It makes no sense. Meredith Speck. Elizabeth Eddy. That's a cool card. Look at that. That's dope. Just ripping through that. Just going to smoke it. That's a cool card. Katie Lund. Very good goalie. From Plano, Texas. Went to the University of Arkansas. Jorian Book. I don't know who this is. LSU, though. Savannah McCaskill. See, I don't want to be mean, but like she's, they seem like she's good, but I don't think she's good. Um, I don't know. I've not been impressed by her play. Um, I feel like that's mean to say, cause I'm not like a soccer knowledgeable savant, but like, and she's on racing now. I forget who she got pulled onto last year. I thought it was North Carolina, but I don't remember uh, for the challenge cup. And like, they were so like, they kept talking her up and I was just like, eh. she was like, like Fukuyama, like kind of a little bit slow for a striker, um, definitely powerful, which is important. Um, but like didn't have that finesse, I guess, that I like. Um, or that you see in like an Ashley Sanchez, Rachel Daly, um, Ashley Hatch for that matter. Um, I don't know who Adriana French, French is. She's from Kansas, but she went to Oklahoma State. So far, we have one Texas A&M and everyone else went to better schools. Oh, you don't like Texas anyway, anyways. I don't know who this player is. Emily Menges. She's from Garden City. She went to Georgetown. I don't like Georgetown. The area of D.C. or Georgetown used to be – Georgetown is a weird place in D.C. if you've ever been. It used to be like a super chic, posh um, shopping area because, you know, the internet didn't exist. 
So you would go there to like buy clothes, but they're also knockoff stores, et cetera, college ish type of place. Um, and like it had a real vibe. Now it's like taken over by, um, what's it called when it's a national brand? Um, that's the thing where there's lots of them and they have national brands, whatever. There's nothing boutique or interesting or uniform about it. It could be anywhere. Um, and I think the university has lost a little bit of its footprint and obviously its stature. Um, and it's annoying to drive in, um, but it's, uh, we got a Sam Stubb. I love Sam Stubb. Went to Clemson. Uh, Casey Kruger, very underrated player. Um, Florida State University. Let's see, we got, we get into the foil. Oh, Bethany Balser. I thought she was overrated. Um, and then she had just some great games. I believe she was the rookie of the year in 2019. Um, and like one of the first people to come out of relative obscurity because she went to D1 AA or D3 school or something like that. Spring Arbor University. She's from Hudsonville, Michigan. Um, but just a great player. A lot of finesse and like really creative. When you think about someone who does something that you don't think is like anyone would ever normally do, but it's good, that is a way she plays. And it's very interesting. We got Veronica Latsko. The foils are really nice. I, I mean, I just love them. They're fantastic. We got a black, a black and white negative refactor of Phoebe McLennan. McLernan? McLernan. Boom. We got, oh, Becky Sauerbrunn, Parkside. This is awesome. I love Becky Sauerbrunn. Very underrated player. Just steady as it goes. This is, I love these. I'm, that's what I'm, maybe I'll start on, find the checklist for the vintage 21 or whatever these are called. Um, and get get these. Um, that might be what I do. We got a promising pros two promising prospects, not Trinity Rodman. We've got the foil of Emily Fox. Um, I believe she was the first overall pick of NWSL. Um, she's been she's got like at least a few appearances for the UN's women's national team. Um, yes, yeah, definitely first overall pick because FC Racing is the expansion team and got there. It's a cool card. These foils. Really dope, man. If you at all interested in women's soccer, I will say I wish there was a few more um, if they like up the U.S. women's national team quotient. Um, but the promising prospect cards are cool. I don't know who this player is. Cosette Morche. Oil Rain. Uh, she went she's Swedish, I think. Um, two clean sheets in 2020. That's pretty good out of 10 appearances. I guess that's not very good. Um, but yeah, this was great. I uh, got a props to the baseball cards cards with a K for all of this. Well, not all of this. Um, the Ladner dude for the Rui Hachimura. Is that a silver? No, not. Cool. Um, it's a dope card. I can't, this is already my like top 20 in my basketball card collection. There aren't very many cards. Um, I think the only good, I have two good basketball cards, three good basketball cards. I have the LeBron rookie with a Hummer thing i have a david robinson rookie card then i have a gold david robinson auto that is really sweet uh but yeah i really dig in these nwsl cards we got the mount castle the, this is the third patino rookie card in there this is some solid solid choice stuff you don't have to go through this look some stuff up we had some good convo thank you adam for stopping by thank you ryan i think zach was in the in the house uh see you all in about an hour oh i gotta make some dinner hungry um later y'all can hit on stream your stream will stop immediately i will end that yes